first of all, two teams have emerged from one NFL, the AFC and the NFC. Both punched their tickets into the Super Bowl. They're trying their luck in Las Vegas. The Kansas City Chiefs, along with Taylor Swift, and also the San Francisco 49ers in a rematch of a cur- another Super Bowl where the Chiefs reign supreme. Who will win the Super Bowl in a special edition of the Big D Stone NFL pickup with a special guest? And also, 30 men, 30 women. They all have dreams of pointing to the WrestleMania sign and punching their ticket to the main event at WrestleMania. One will be telling will be telling his story to finish the story, and the other one returns victoriously. This is the Royal Rumble recap with Prince DJ. And and also on the team, the Sheriff, Sheriff Big C. Hi, everyone. Well, Hi, up, everyone. Man? Welcome. Not much. How you doing, Deshaun? How you doing? All right. Well, uh, before we get to the Royal Stumble, I mean the Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be like R2, but anyway. Uh God bless R2. He, he he knows how to bring the comedy. But anyway, I have uh, uh I, I will have the announcement for the Super Bowl, but I want to tell you who is in the lead for colleges that I will be attending, and I will have a home college by the time the Super Bowl is over. So right now in the lead of the home college is. University of the Cumberlands, they are a Christian school in T- K- Kentucky. And, um, yeah, they, assigned, they, they accepted a, a couple of my credits, so I'm down to 48, uh, 48 credits to get my associate's degree. I am good. If, if I can work the bachelor's, I'll probably do that afterwards. Maybe I might stay there. I don't know. But other than, yeah, so I could be a member of the, uh, well, this is not the NFL Patriots, but they also have a uh, they also have a team named the Patriots as well. But that's that's a safer Patriots. The other Patriots I don't like is the one that Bill Belichick uh, is. Re- well, I don't know if he's retiring or not but exactly, but don't worry, my Patriots are safe. Yeah, well, it's safe. It's it's a Christian based school, and and they got football too. Well, at least that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other college that are in the running is uh, both University of New Hampshire School of Professional Studies, and also in the running is uh, Southern New Hampshire University. Uh, the safety school that is in the running is uh, Galveston, Col- uh, Galveston College, also um, San Antonio College, uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it. But anything else that yeah. that may change, but all in all, I I have a half a winner of the uh, the college, but I will announce that during the Super Bowl. I'll have a vice president of how to do it. I'll, I'll explain during then. Uh, all right. Cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know I usually do the NFL pick up uh, alone uh, at some, some time, but since we're already down to the Super Bowl. I figured I have a guest on the line here to do the special NFL pickup, Super Bowl edition. And with that, mm. uh, I'm going, you know what? I know you know who's going to be in the Super Bowl this year. So, uh, you know, I have my ways of doing the Super Bowl and on my picks, and I'm going to let the sheriff know how he do his pick. So uh, for that part, I'll do my pick last. Sheriff, take it away. I'm going with, um, I don't know, it's, I'm going to go either or this game. Oh, you do, oh, you following my route to double down. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because, I, I, yeah, I see where you're doing it because both teams have experience in the Super Bowl. Both teams won, won the Super Bowl one time or another, and both teams know each other. So I see, I see where you're going at. Yeah. Yeah. So... 
my formula, I'm going the same way. I'm, but I'm going with heads will be, well, of course, it's uh, one of my home teams. Uh, the Chiefs is the home, home team. And so I'm going with the head, and then the 49ers is going to be the tail. So we win anyway. Yep. We win either way. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And now it's time for the Royal Rumble recap with your guide to the Royal Rumble and pointed to the, to the WrestleMania side, the Sheriff. All right. Well, this year's Royal Rumble 2024 happened on January, January 27, 2024. And the results were, we had, we had a return at this year's Royal Rumble. That's right. During the Women's Royal Rumble. Naomi. Yeah, she came. She came back that. home. Yeah, I mean, yep. she came back home, and it was a very emotional return for her. Yep. Yep, and we did have a well. Of course, we started off with Natalia. Mhm. And and she and of course and we had to say we had to give a royal stumble award to. Valhalla at five wow. seconds. Wah, wah, wah. Wait, 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 wait. Five seconds. Wait, what? Five seconds. Five seconds from our truth. Yeah. <laughs> I, bro, I saw the video. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Should we name this the R Truth World Stumble Award? Might as well, but I. I love our two comedy and wrestling. I mean, yeah, he 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 is the king of comedy and wrestling. I love <laughs> yeah. that. Hey, this is the women's yeah. world wobble. No, what it's not. Yeah, fall. Remember that time he brought, actually brought a ladder into the into the yeah. world wobble? Remember yeah. that? <laughs> Those two were. Those two are gold. I think they should they should keep uh they should keep our two forever. Yeah. Well, uh, okay, I'm looking at the MK then all right. Well, number four was Candice LeRae in this Royal in that Royal Rumble match. Oh wow. Number five was Jordan Grace from T N A wrestling. Yep. I think she's one of the uh, uh, Ringy Hartwell. Yeah. Number seven from when SmackDown from Os- was Oscar. Mm-hmm. Damage control. Number eight was Ivy Nile. Number nine was Katana Chance. Was number ten was Bianca Bear. I mean Bianca Belair. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna haunt me for a long <laughs> Number eleven was Kyrie Sane, who just returned recently. <laughs> Number 12 was Tegan Knox. 13 was Caden Carter. Number 13 was... Number 14 was Chelsea Green. Yep. Bring on the green. Number 15 was Piper Niven, formerly known as Dewdrop. And we also want the Dewdrop in... (laughs) (laughs) number 16 was Zia Lee 17 was Zelina Vega Mm -hmm. 18 was Maxine Dupree 19 was Miss Botchalot Nia Jax (laughs) oh she's not going to like that (laughs) <laughs> 20 was Shotzi Blackheart 21 was Becky Lynch number 22 entrant was Alba Fire oh, oh. oh. 20, entry 23 was Shayna Baszler mm-hmm. 24 was Valhalla 25 was Mason Maya Mia Yim 26 was Zoe Stark. 
27, the sweet spot, Roseanne, Roxanne Perez. Roxanne. <laughs> Thanks for revealing my age. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. All right. Number 28 from AEW, Jay Cargill made her debut. Oh. Number 29 from NXT, Tiffany Stratton. And number 30, Liv Morgan. But the winner oh, wow. of the 30-woman battle Royal, Royal Rumble was Bailey. There you go. She reigns supreme. The return reigns supreme. Last eliminating Liv Morgan. Now, uh, did Bailey pick her appointment already, or she's going to SmackDown? Because I did see one video where uh, another person was um, entering, entering, um, uh, not Nia Jax, entering uh, uh, Rhea Ripley. Thank you. That's the one I wanted to say. And that I'm not other sure. person said. Rhea Ripley won't make it to WrestleMania. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. That's good. That's fine. All right. The next match, Roman Reigns with Paul Heyman versus L- versus AJ Styles, LA Knight, and Randy Orton. Well, I had two favorites. I, I wanted for Randy Orton and LA Knight to be in there, but, yeah, we all know the sad story. Roman Reigns um, won that match, but... Um, I'm thinking um, WrestleMania, or at least hopefully by the next pay per view, will drop the title. I'm going to say, but Roman Reigns is actually on the on a run of a lifetime. Yeah, but he doesn't. The he's not a fighting champion. We need a fighting champion. Well, the champion. reason why because he's got leukemia. Remember? Yeah, but uh, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> I mean, not a story for another time. Maybe he could have, maybe he could have gave it to uh, Solo, uh, Solo, and then he could be a fighting champion for the Bloodline. Freebird rule. But anyway, uh, but yeah, I I think that would have been a great move for that. So we at least we'll have a fighting champion, someone for the Bloodline that will take on all comers, and because you know with the Bloodline, he he will always win. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Logan Paul and Kevin Owens for the United States Heavyweight Championship. Oh, wow. So who who came out on Logan top of that Paul, one? Logan Paul defeated Kevin Owens by disqualification. Brass Knox came into play. Brass Knox came into play. Uh-oh. Wah, wah, wah. This is not three, this is not three o'clock high, y'all. Not three o'clock high. Anyway, remember that movie? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Continue. All right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. We have another oh boy. All right, now we're on to the men's Royal Rumble match. All right. Number one and number two, brother versus brother were the first two entrants. Ooh. Number three, Grayson Waller. Number four, a returning Andrade. Oh. Number five, Carmelo Hayes. All right. Number six, Shinsuke Nakamura. I can hear that music. <laughs> Number seven, Santos Escobar, formerly of LWO. Mm-hmm. Eight, Carrion Cross. Oh. Number nine, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Six one nine. Boo for a part of Judgment Day now. Hey. Whoa. Dirty oh, Dominic he's... Mysterio Judgment Day, remember? Oh yeah, I remember that. Ten Carlito Caribbean Cool. Or as he usually put it sometimes, that is cool, or that is not cool. That's not cool. Number eleven, <laughs> Bobby Lashley. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Number eleven, Bobby Lashley. Almighty Bobby Lashley. Number twelve, Luzi Tyza. Oh wow. Number thirteen, Austin Theory. There we go. 
Number 14, Finn Balor. <laughs> Number 15, Cody Rhodes. The American Nightmare. Number 16, Big Bronson Reed. Whoa. Number 17, Kofi Kingston. Kofi. Which, I'm sorry, Kofi um, didn't last long. Uh, boy. Yikes. Again, this year. Wow. How long did Boompa. he last? Cody, Cody King, Kofi Kingston, three minutes and 34 seconds this year. Oh, man. 19, Ivar. Uh-oh. Number 20, big debut for him on the main roster, Braun Breaker. Oh. Number 21, Omos. Okay, okay. Number 22, Pat McAfee. 38 Uh-oh. seconds. And then... In and gone. Wow. <laughs> Number 20, and eliminated himself, 38 seconds. <clears throat> Rock the stumble. <laughs> I guess he didn't want it. J.D. McDonough, three seconds. Small shot. Royal stumble twice. I guess he didn't want it. He didn't want to go to Vegas. R-Truth this year, 2 minutes and 56 seconds. Well, at least that's a little bit longer, at least. Sheesh. But men, Damian Priest, mm-hmm. number 27, the Sweet Spunt, CM Punk. Uh-oh. Number 28, Ricochet. Number 29, Drew McIntyre. And number 30... Sammy Zane. Hmm. Wow. And this year's winner, Cody Rhodes. Two time, two time Royal Rumble winner. Back to back. Exactly. I know the only one that did it was Stone Cold Steve Austin, I believe. Oh, Hogan, right? I know Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Shawn Michaels. The Heartbreak Kid. That's right. And. Woo. Yeah, and, oh, well, CM Punk, uh, what, uh, CM Punk did good. He wasn't crying about uh, losing the Royal Rumble, but he thought he was going to go to the Elimination Chamber and win there, but. Shoulder injury. Play. Huh? Shoulder injury. Exactly. His injury got in the way of his. He may or may not be able to do the elimination changer so he can get a second chance to uh, get it to the uh, WrestleMania. Or he might be out of WrestleMania altogether. Exactly. Exactly. Ouch. Woo. Boy, oh boy. But Cody Rhodes might be able to finish his story. I mean, might be able to finish. But then Seth Rollins wanted uh, wanted to fight Cody Rhodes for the uh for the world title. I was shocked. Yeah. And Drew McIntyre just officially officially um, signified his heel turn last week. Oh, man. Me, I'm, me Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre, yeah. Yeah, okay. I kind of knew that okay. because he was like, uh, not happy. He was like, uh, injuring somebody so bad. CM Punk. Yeah. But CM Punk what is said that he's coming after him. Yeah. Wow. Did you see the press conference at the end? Yeah. Oh, my God. Wasn't that a great press conference? Yeah, and Brock Lesnar has officially been blacklisted from WWE. Wait, wait. The Brock Lesnar, the one that married to Sable Brock Lesnar? Yeah, I've been blacklisted from WWE because of the whole Vince McMahon thing. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. And and then you know, since we're getting into that subject, uh, Triple H went and uh, talk about it during the press conference. Even though he was questioned about it, he just said that he wanted to focus on the positive of that night. And 
Did you know that the Royal Rumble actually beat and sync for the the, the uh, highest attendance at, at the uh, where the, the arena where they were at in Tampa? Yeah. And plus, that was yeah. Plus, it was also held at um where they held where they actually held most of the Thunderdome events. Exactly. Yeah. Since while we're, okay, while we're on the subject, what do you think about this whole Vince Man um backlash and stuff like that? Yikes. Yeah. I mean, I was hearing about it just as everybody else was hearing about it. I was like, uh, we're coming back from out of uh, day park, and I was like, what the heck is this again? Again, Vince? Really? Bruh. And now they come about it on Law and Order, the, the YouTube channel and stuff like that, and it might be hard. I, I think it might be hard for Vince to come out of this one unscathed. Wow. So, yeah. in your opinion, what did you think about the Royal Rumble? What, what would be your grade? It was fun. I loved it. Oh, I guess I, I guess I'll take it as a, as an A. <laughs> yeah. Man. But it was actually the first um pay per view, first Royal Rumble without him. Exactly. And we all After know what one year. Was. We all know what we what was a talking about. Last year was yeah. the um, rest final match that he actually wrestled in on TV. Ooh. The pitch black match. Oh, that's right. No. Ooh. Huh? Yeah. Um, but uh. So yeah, do you have any words of wisdom that uh that you could that people could use before we sign off? And also, how can anybody get your podcast? Because you still have a podcast uh that you do every week. Every, yep, that's right. Every Thursday on actually not on Facebook, not only on Facebook, but also on my YouTube channel. And where could they uh where could they follow the uh the uh, podcast? It's on my YouTube channel, youtube dot com slash big C one nine eight seven. All right. Yeah. Uh, what is your next... Like... Oh, wait. What am next... I thinking? I already know the next pay-per-view, which is the Elimination Chamber. What am I doing? Well, I... what's going to be all the way in? It's going to be all the way in Australia, this one. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, we, we have to figure out either we do it afterwards or somehow do it before, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Yep. There's all there's always a way. Yeah, all right. Anywho, thank you so much everyone for wa- listening. This is Charles, the big C Berman, the sheriff. And this is Prince DJ, and this is the home of the best citizens on the net today. This has been the big D Down. We'll see you next.